Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Wedding bells are in the air and we've got a new event upon us. We have got a FF10 event. This is our story. Get a new unit wardrobe record and listen to that wedding music. Awesome, so let's hop into it. So, challenge event, this is our story. We've got Yuna, daughter of Braska, the High Summoner, who defeated Sin ten years ago. We've got Titus, the uh, main protagonist of Final Fantasy X. And the prologue looks like we're in Guado Salam. Simo's just asked Yuna's hand in marriage. Leaving Titus to wonder what's going on. Following Guado custom unit parts from her companions. Da -da -da -da. Yuna stands up to Seymour even as he tries to kill her friends and take her by force. So we've got Titus and Yuna here, you're coming with us. Don't worry, I can fly. So, we've got uh, some new abilities we can obtain. We can get a 5 star ability, com plus the plus, complete the plus 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 dungeon to get Sapphire Shot. 5 star Sharp Shooter ability, oh yes, that's a new category of abilities that's been added, the Sharp Shooter. This deals 2 ranged physical walls to attach to one target and deals more damage with ranged weapons. Get a 4 star ability, complete the plus dungeon to get Hydro Burst, a 4 star sharpshooter ability that deals ranged physical water damage to all targets and deals more damage with ranged weapons. So we can get a wardrobe record for Yuna, complete part 1 dungeons to get False Bride, a wedding dress for wardrobe record for Yuna. You'll also get if you get a wardrobe record for the character not already in your roster, you will also get the hero record for that character. Uh, so we can also recruit Final Fantasy X heroes, Tidus, Auron, Waka and Riku. Get memory crystal loads. We can get memory crystal 2s for Tidus, Tidus, Auron and Waka. Memory crystals for Tidus, Auron, Waka, Yuna and Riku. And that's it. Let's head into the event. Oh yeah, movie. Oh nice, it's the attack scene. Awesome movie. Oh, okay. Just advertising Final Fantasy X. So here we go, our first dung our first section of this dungeon is the moon flow. So this is our party decided to go with an FF10 party for this normal mode. Many weak characters here, but they've got synergy, so let's hop into it. I just realized you Lulu has a healing staff for some reason. So into the moon flow part one. I don't know why it's got the pitch. Uh, well, I suppose that was part of the moon flow area. So, this part of the uh, story in FF10. Uh, I guess it revolves around the Guado Slam area. Guado's been a race of weird humanoid type characters. Seymour asks for Yuna's hand in marriage. And Yuna accepts, accepts leaving the party confused. And decides to go with Seymour. As described in the um, prologue. So this section here you were um, going across the moon flow which was this 
like magical lake with the uh, fireflies that lit up. Which were the uh, sort of like dead or something in pretty form. Fireflies, that's what it was called. And you had to walk across this giant lake on a weird elephant type creature called the Shoe Puff. Halfway across the lake, party got attacked by the owl bed and you know, was captured in this extractor which is the boss for this section. And with the extractor you had to face them only with uh, Tidus and Waka as they were the only ones who could swim and breathe underwater for some reason. They never explained why they can breathe underwater. I, I, I never found that out in the entirety of the game. So here's the extractor. Use the uh, after a few turns, it used a powerful attack called Death, Cha Death Charge, which. Uh, Hit your entire party for a massive amount of damage. <laughs> so that's that for that section. Let's move on to the next one. There you go. Defeat the extractor without being killed. As always, first sections are pretty easy. So for our rewards, we get next part unlocked. Thousand gill spike rod, spikes rod times one. That's a growth egg times 40. You get Riku. But we already have her so she's converted and we have a Mithril. Riku's a physical support. So we're moving to the Thunder Plains. Ooh. Yeah, let's use that. Not seen that one in a while. So Riku's a physical support, as I always say, you tend to get characters to help you out during these events, what you need for the more difficult battles along the way. So the Thunder Plains, obviously this was a plains with a lot of thunder and lightning, as it is well named. and. Uh, in the Thunder Plains there was a side quest which you could do. You could um, in order to obtain the So basically you had ultimate weapons which was called celestial weapons in this game. In uh, Final Fantasy X. And in order to get them you have to do certain tasks throughout different areas. In order to get Lulu's weapon Yes, it was Lulu's weapon. You had to... Basically, lightning would strike the ground... Uh, near your character and you had to press... I think it was... X or A... In order to... Wow, sleep, really? In order to dodge the lightning at the exact moment. And in order to get Lulu's celestial weapon, you had to uh, dodge a hundred lightning strikes. That was no easy task. If you messed up once, it would totally reset, which was annoying. And also in the Thunder Plains, if you came back later on, once you got the airship, you could fight the Dark Aeon. So Aeons were the summons of the game. Fight the Dark Aeon Ixion! An evil version of the lightning or thunder element. Elemental Aeon. And he was pretty damn tough if you didn't if you weren't prepared. If you wanted to go back for the celestial weapon, you could run into Ixion and the battle would instantly commence. 
So that's the Thunder Plains in a nutshell. So our boss for this section is... We'll use our Roman warrior, the Iron Giant. This is a pretty cool animation. The Aeons of Wing and Flame. He summons Veil 4 and Ifrit. Veil 4 using Energy Ray there to power up Ifrit's Hellfire. And he's dead. Let's move on to the next section. And we get Tidus! I can't believe we don't have Tidus yet. He's physical speed. Soul Break. Basic Soul Break. Delay attack. Deal physical damage to one target with a moderate chance to slow it. All champions obtained. So for our rewards we get... Let's part unlocked. 1000 guild guardian armlet. Power Orb times 5, Tidus and Mithril. So they also give you like... 2 of... A weapon within the category... For some synergy you can combine it. Ah, doesn't matter, let's just go with this. So you can combine it, get it up to a 4 star, then if you get any more you can get it up to a 5 star, obviously. So here we are in the Macalania Woods. Macalania? Macalania. So this was on the road also to Guado Salam. Uh, in the Macalania Woods, it was full of of snow and one part was like greenery and the other another part was uh, full of snow and that's where you got the Aeon Shiva obviously the ice Aeon and also there's a part where you come back later After saving Yuna from Seymour and Tidus in Yuna falling off. So into the Macalania Woods part two. Part two, part one. Confusing. So yeah. Tidus in Yuna falling off. Kissing the water, and that's an awesome scene as well. So there was a uh, little mini section in the in the Macalania Woods as well. Basically, you could touch a firefly and or like a little butterfly or something. And it would start a mini game where you could collect uh, blue butterflies and if you collected all of them without touching the red butterflies, because if you touch them, send you right back to the beginning, you got a chest with stuff in it. Simple mini game. So it looks like our boss for this is the Serimorph, was it? Yeah, the Serimorph, let's just play people. So the Serimorph is a boss where... It could absorb... Every ele element and... Occasionally it would... Elemental shift. So you had to time your elemental exposures... Correctly. I think it was sort of immune to physical damage as well. Obviously it's a slime type, flan type enemy. So our rewards we get next part unlocked, 2000 gill, spike rod times 1, growth egg, 
Walker, but we already have him, so he's converted into Great Growth Egg and a Mithril. Walker's another physical support, so you can either use Walker or Riku. So, in oh, this is the Macalania Lake. If there's any FF10s here, trigger happy? Yeah, why not? Trigger happy, one of the more weaker burst soul breaks. Don't know why it just deals less damage than it should do for a burst soul break. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is the um, this is the path towards the Makalani Temple, which is where you got Shiva. Little icy type area where um, when the party was escaping from Makalani Temple after the event started coming up in a bit, you ran into the Albed, which I believe was a was it the Albed or was it the no, it was a Guardo machine. And well, I'll talk about that in the boss fight. So into Macalania Lake Part Two. There's some Guados. That's what they look like in 2D. I potion, not that we really need it. There's an evil eye. Should be an Addy man. Oh, finally two evil eyes. <laughs> and that's it for that part. Let's move on to the next section. I mean, the boss section. The boss part of this section. <laughs> so, here's a boss. You can see it's like a... Machina type machine with something above it. So that's that that would uh, that little machine above it would absorb magic in the in FF10. But let's see what it does in this game. Negate to prevents all magics and summons. Magic abilities and soul breaks won't work. But let's use trigger happy. Oh wow, is that really only one target? Deals more damage there because this is obviously a weak enemy. Hey, we didn't even kill the negator. So yeah, there you go, the negator would absorb magic and summons. So you had to kill that off first before you could unleash your Aeon magical spells. <laughs> Even absorb white magic. And we get Auron, he's a physical attack. Basic soul break, threaten, deal damage to one target with a moderate chance to stop it. That's nice. Don't get many of those really. In fact, we rarely get any ones that cause stop. So for our rewards we get next part unlocked, 2000 gil, guardian armlet, power orb, oran and a metal, power orb times 5. I think that's bugged. Keep saying Macalani, oh no it's Macalani Temple. So here we go into the Makalania Temple, see if we get any FF10 characters. Ooh, Dragon's War. Another trick at another Dragon's War. Go on then, we'll use Dragon's Roar. 
at Super Soul Break summoning Bahamut. Which was awesome in FF10 because you could use Bahamut as a party member, you summon him and then they replace the party and then you could control the, the actions of the Aeon, they had their own HP pool, pool, an overdrive bar which was the limit breaks of the series of the game, not the series, and Bahamut's abilities, so basically they got their overdrive and the uh, separate ability. Kind of high potion, really. And Bahamut's unique ability was Impulse, which dealt massive damage to all enemies, which could just wipe anything out. And obviously, his overdrive is Mega Flare, an awesome attack, which you'll soon see doing very high damage indeed. Or anything in its path. So let's move on to the next part. So yeah, we're in the Makalani Temple now. So this was where you got Shiva, obviously. If you made it through the Cloister of Trials, which is like a mini puzzle you could get rare I you could get items which you needed to unlock something at the end of it won't spoil it and uh, this is the entrance to Guado Salam as well Oh no, the entrance to Guado Salam was in uh, Makalani Woods. So that's it for part 2, let's move on to the boss section which is... Seymour, it looks like. So oh, Seymour is a character who was the uh, next in line to become Maester, which is like the Pope of the Final Fantasy X world of Spira, and basically goes down the path of evil. Turns out to be one of the main bad guys. Spoiler! Ooh, oh, it looks like we can't. You may be Maester, but your eyes will burn with result. Beautiful. Looks like we can't attack the Seymour yet, so we'll just deal with these guys. They buff themselves up. Ah, oh, I could have used a ringer. Oh, Seymour's... Oh, no. Seymour, no! Feel my pain! Come, Anima! Oh, I hope we don't kill it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys Bahamut. Oh, Seymour comes back. That power that defeated Anima, it will be mine. So here comes Mega Flare to finish it off in style. Boom, 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 boom. Lots of flashy effects there. And it increases your party's resistance as well. You know, would you pity me now? So, all targets have achieved. And our rewards we get ne uh, next part unlocked 3000 gil, 10 fire orbs, 10 wind orbs, mithril, and the new false bride wardrobe record unlocked. 
And obviously if you don't have Yuna, you will get Yuna as well. So that is going to do it for part 1 of the Final Fantasy X event. This is our story. Bit weird choice to base it in Guado's land, but I do suppose it's where they fall in love. And it is about Tidus and Yuna as well. So that is going to do it for the normal for the normal mode. We'll be moving into part two next. So check that out next time. And remember, if you like this video, to like it helps out a lot and then leave a comment about the video if you want and then I would ask you to check out the channel for more Final Fantasy goodness or just gaming goodness in general and please hit that subscribe button if you wish and as always I will see you in the next episode